Hi, good afternoon, everyone. This is homework for October 27th. All right, we are still working on um, multiplication and we are still working on patterns. So let's begin with our first problem. It says a soccer team is going to a tournament in cars. One car can hold six players. So I'm going to make my chart just so I can keep track. I have one car holds six players. Two cars can hold 12 players. Three cars, it says, can hold 18 players. How many players can fit in four cars? What will the next number in this pattern be? There are two ways to figure this out. You can say, here's how much one car holds is six. So you could say four times six equals 24. Or you can say 18 plus six equals 24. So our answer is 24 players. Make sure you label it your answer. All right, now it's asking how many players can fit in eight? So we know that six players, is, or four players is 24. Five players, 24 plus six would be 30. Six players would be 36. Seven players, would be 42, and eight players would be 48. You could do your six table here, or 48 players, or you could say eight times six equals 48, okay? Your job is to do the problem two on your own. Um, problem one, uh, three, I'm going to ask you, I will just read the first question to you, and then let's figure that out first, and, fi and then you can do the rest on your own. All right? It says the table shows the number of bracelets that Mia can make for different prices. What is the cost of one bracelet? Our table shows us the cost of two bracelets and the cost of three bracelets. Think about how can we use that information to find out the cost of one bracelet. So if three bracelets cost $7.50 then and two bracelets cost $5, I can subtract those and find out that the cost of one bracelet is $2.50, okay? Now, you can do the rest. How much is it gonna cost for 10 bracelets? And if you had $30, how many bracelets could you buy? All right, looks like my computer is doing crazy things, so I'm gonna stop recording, and I hope you can figure out problem four on your own. Thank you.